Wednesday, April 24, 2013 is a date the people of Essa and Edo State will not forget for a long time to come. It is a date that can only be compared to June 12, 1993. Similar to June 12, 1993, this day, Governor of Edo State cancelled the freest and the most peaceful election ever in the history of Essa land. It all began when the state electoral officials postponed the 2013 Edo State local elections, slated to hold Saturday, April 20th, in Essa Northeast because of late arrival of materials to the local government, to Wednesday, April 24th, 2013. Like the experience of Saturday 20th, voters trooped out en masse to vote for the candidate of their choice. This was an opportunity they did not want to pass them by, as they have not been given such opportunity for the past five years. This was going to be the first local elections under Governor Shomale, who had in the past five years of his administration ruled through caretaker administrators. So it was an acid test to him. And like Saturday, the enthusiasm of voters soon began to dampen when materials for voting was not coming to them. Situations almost deteriorated to that of protest in some of the stations. Well, we are so disappointed about the Comrade Governor. It's a disgrace on his part that by now, 10.30 uh, Wednesday, we have not started the election. We are so aggrieved. And if the election is not conducted, Yakubu will win the chairmanship, whether they like it or not. I will wait, definitely. If I wait till 12 o'clock, the application is not done. Definitely, we will go home. Uh, there are no voters' uh, uh, papers, and then uh, the electoral officers are not here, the returning officer is not here, uh, the uh, officers that are meant to man the election are not here. I do think it's a deliberate uh, uh, act uh, to sabotage the election here. And uh, I'm warning, if what for, do not vote. I don't think there's any vote here. The vote in the local government will be cancelled. Thank you. I'm still waiting for the ballot paper. The official, the ought to assign here, I think it's a collaboration act by them so that voting will not take place here. Please. In what for? We are still waiting. You will discover now it is almost to 12. Nothing is taking place here. I care the materials never vote. Thank you very much. Today is a wonderful day to us. We have never experienced what we have seen. We have been here since 6 o'clock in the morning. There is no voting, nothing, nothing, nothing going on here. Yes. So we are not happy at all. And one vote. But today we are surprising that Aliu Adam Sonshobole is ringing all over the state, is ringing the elections. Because what we believe is one man, one vote. One woman, one vote. One youth, one vote. One girl, one vote. But what we are expecting here is not what we are seeing. But we beg with the federal government to intervene on this. So we are not happy concerning what is going on today. Last week, they wasted our time. Everybody, we stay here from morning to evening, no election conducted. So today again, we have been here since 8 o'clock. Nothing, nothing. And this is something after one now. We are still be waiting. Nothing, nothing, no election. So they should try and do something. And we want to vote. We want there to be ballot paper in material and let us vote. I don't want this, uh, this vote to, to, to be expired. At CMS Primary School, the story was the same. We are not happy with the situation. If you look at the time, it's almost 2 o'clock. We are not even starting the accreditation. What are they waiting for? The circuit, they are disappointing us. They are disappointing us. This is not how to do election. And at least we supposed to start accreditation by 8 and end by 12 and start voting. Up to now, if you look at your time and you see that it's, not, it's, it's going to 1 o'clock, what, what are we talking about? The electoral officer attached to the local government did not seem quite prepared for the election. 
people had to be selected among the voters to help out in conducting the election. Because of the determination of the people to see it through, they agreed to the ad hoc arrangements. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you give, can you give the officer for you train? They trained people before. I, I will not be there. I can't go. I'm not trained. Mr. Ayer, are you ready to take on that responsibility? Well, I'm ready to serve my country. All right. Can you start now? Yeah, no problem. All right. They'll bring the papers. I'll call the government to bring myself to this meeting. They will have to date our boat, serve as we can make up. When we got to the station, we were supposed to see the EO. Because people have been trained to carry out this duty. Yes. Question number one, what happened to the officers that have been trained to carry out this election? Maybe ESSEC will answer that. Then presently, the EO that was supposed to cover the local government is not in the station right now. Where are we going to? And how long are we going to wait? Because according to electoral law, we are supposed to start accreditation by 8 o'clock. This is roughly 12 o'clock. And up to now, they are not here. But then the next thing is, are they planning to make sure that there is not going to be election in World War? Eventually, voting commenced in the different polling stations peacefully. People waited for their turn to get accredited and subsequently cast their vote. This was the mood in most of the polling stations. In fact, it was like a family affair in most stations. By the grace of God, we have prayed, we have committed the election to the hands of God. He's the one that gives peace. So we have asked for peace and we are rest assured that we are going to experience peace. Urum is one family. This or not is one family. Irrespective of political divide, we are from one family. As you can see, almost everybody that votes here in this primary school, for example, are from Eboji. Everybody, not almost, everybody that is here today are from Eboji. This is a typical Eboji word. So it's, 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 a, it's a crime for an Eboji man to pick up an against an Eboji man. Yeah. We may have our differences politically, it is allowed. Because okay. all we need is free, free, free and fair election is what we need. Okay. Uh -huh. And you know, we, we have started saying one more one vote. That's yeah. what we need. For now, you can see I have finished doing my accreditation. What yeah. I'm waiting for is for order to finish so that I'll do my voting. Okay. Because that's what we need in this local government. I want to say so far, so well and so good. The turnout, as you can see, is quite uh, impressive. The voters have been very calm and behaving orderly. That's why the fact that uh, the voting materials arrived here. I said two hours uh, behind the schedule, but uh, because of their love and desire to express and uh, their desire to see that uh, their expression counts this time around, that is why you see that they are behaving very orderly. But this time around, we are taking now everything is going smoothly, so I'm impressed. So we don't have problem in this place. We they have some people are talking about security. We don't have problem with security because we are our, we together we are we are brothers and sisters. So there is nothing we can report you for. So we I believe we can do this election free and fair election. Because there is no problem in any way. As was done in 2010 during the governorship election, people were ready to protect their votes. So they voted and stayed behind to ensure their vote was not in any way tampered with. This was their opportunity to elect their choice of representatives. They were not going to gamble with it. At any cost, they were ready to protect their vote and protect democracy. No, it won't happen here. Oh. It can happen in other places, but here, Asa North East will be different. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you for your concern. Uh, Asa North East local government, Uru Museum, is quite different from other places where there are kangaroo elections and all that. It won't work here, except they want to cause patrimonial here. We don't want that. We don't mean be a very peaceful place. Uh, let the election be conducted. If, I, if we have two fighters and one, is, one has defeated the other, the other one should be prepared by next year to fight. Uh, so the issue of uh, you had ABCD to discharge us wouldn't work here. 
You can't walk in nature, not this local gun. But the special grace. Very well to the end. To the end. To the end. We will do the election. Okay, here for if uh, there is only, if, if there is any loophole, we, we will not take it. We won't take it. Whether it's from federal, whether we want it clear. So that is the way it is. The election should be conducted. Thank you very much. Hired thugs who wanted to perpetuate violence in some areas were resisted by the determined voters and the security operators. One of such areas was Ward 5. This was about the biggest polling station in Essa North East. The Commissioner of Police, Edo State, put pay to such attempt to foment trouble in that polling station by personally overseeing the election. Can you just imagine? The, the, a custodian of one man one vote. Excuse me. The a process, custodian of one man one vote. The process was going on smoothly yeah. before we are cutting their votes. You know? At the point, uh, initially, the returning officers ran away. So we brought him back to come and complete the process. Yes. So we'll be managing the situation, and the man had not been ready for the process. At the point, he complained of uh, non-availability of resource sheet. After a point, nobody know where he brought it out. So we'll be conducting the election, the process has been going on smoothly. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the man ran away. Then some people dragged him to bring it back to complete the process. Before we know it, tear, tear, gas tear gas everywhere. Tear gas everywhere. Why, 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 is it, why are the police throwing tear gas? Well, it, it's only God that can explain that. If the man the is as cunning, I believe that the police will this, bring it back to complete election. the process. Yes, this not the act of this uh, tear gas something, nobody can yes, explain it. It's only God that can explain it. We must vote! 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 The intimidation was not limited to Essen North East alone. If you assess the situation here now, I've observed that talks were recruited from other places to Avia North East. From other places to River. If you watch, many of these people are not from Avia North East. And if we profess one man, one vote, if we should respect that, 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 that uh, slogan. The commissioner had also, before coming to Ward 5, gone on a tour of different polling stations to make sure voting was going on smoothly. Okay, let's go. Finally, it was the moment of truth, the time to know the verdict of the people. So the counting of results started amidst apprehension from members of the different political parties. At the different polling stations, the counting went on peacefully and in front of the voters who stayed to protect their votes. 
as has now become the slogan from the 2010 One Man, One Vote experience. John Yakubu, representing PDP, won the Uzenema election. 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 124, The Eve election. One round thirty-eight, one round thirty-nine, one round forty, one round forty-one, and shown here and the results are reflections of the outcome of the different polling stations in SNF East and they all went to the PDP. The Minister of Works, Architect Mike Honor Lemmem's Ward, Ward 4, Unit 8 and 9 were the last to be counted due to the fact that they started late because of late arrival of materials and was also won by the candidate from PDP. Northeast local government election, it has been done, it has come and it's gone. Yes. The PDP won the polling station. Yes. I think it's a tribute to the Minister of Works. Yeah. This is his home base yes. and people have been here. The voting didn't start on time, we are but they kept to faith. Yes. They stayed, they voted and they what the vote Minister counted. Jubilation! Is our jubilation? We have to first, first and foremost, we have to thank our God who stands for who stands for us from beginning to the end. We have won this boot and we are happy. We tell our minister that we have won the boot. We have we have to thank him for the work he has done and he will do more. We want him to do more for us. That is why. We will do the work for him so that he will do more work for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. What have you got to say? The minister has been performing well. And for us to show him the appreciation, we voted for him. And we need more rules. We know he will do it. We are proud of him. Although they frustrated him coming, we told him we will deliver and we have delivered. We are very happy. I'm very, very happy. I'm more than happy because we won the ACN. Okay. Amen.
The jubilation continued till the coalition center where the community got an unexpected shocker. The returning officer had left the local government and was not going to come back to announce the outcome of the election. It is important to know that without the returning officer, no other person can announce results of the election according to the constitution. The consequence of this was that the election was inconclusive. The people of Uromi did not take it sleeping. They barricaded the police station, a development that led to shooting of tear gas and live bullets. Waiting to see the ESSEC chairman and the, and the commissioner of police to announce the winner of the result. Up to now, we don't, know our, we don't know where we are going and we don't know where we are coming from. We know where we are going because we, we voted yesterday and it was free and free election because there was no, there was no trouble of any kind and it was done in a peaceful atmosphere. But the way they are going with us, as a matter of fact, we don't know. But we really want to ask them, where are we going from here? Is there any way out to know the winner or we have done an election? Is the government who, who believe in autocracy, is it going to appoint somebody to come to our local government to rule us? This is the question we are asking now, because we are tired of staying. We have been here since yesterday, up to now, we don't know where they are pushing us to. So we want to know where we are heading to. In cancelling the election, the Electoral Commissioner gave violence and mass rigging as the cause of the cancellation. And the Governor blamed the Minister for Works for bringing thugs to intimidate voters. Was this true or just another reason to support their action? Well, let me say these are also tissues of lies. Number one, uh, by divine intervention, I was unable to go home on Tuesday to participate during the Wednesday election because of what you said a while ago. I was making my scorecard presentation to the Federal Executive Council. Of course, I'm on national assignment, uh, so that takes uh, precedence uh, because I couldn't keep the president and the entire Federal Executive Council members waiting. But why is this happening now? This was such a beautiful election. The system was cast your vote, we will read our result. But the people, the electorate, the voters, had their ground and said, no way, you have to read the result. That is what the constitution says, that you must read the result there. One, secondly, the SF has no right to cancel because you know, you know, the next time, yeah. Remember, the June 12th that was cancelled by Babagida, that, that was illegal, right? 
The responsibility of SN is to announce the result. If you are not satisfied, go to tribunal. But SN now cancel the result, which they have murdered democracy. The man that appointed them supported that cancellation. He also committed what? Political uh, murder. murder you know, I would call it a political uh, mequenzy. What did you call it? Mequenzy. 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 Because it's not the chief mequenzy of the state that can say anything anytime you have to take it. If you don't take it, you are sending it. And true to time, on the appointed day, obviously, the ACN Katkari members who were who were appointed as returning officers obviously had instructions from their masters that once you see the PDP winning, disappear from the scene so that the election will be inconclusive. In, on that very day, it is on record that the PDP, the PDP supporters and candidates were determined to vote and protect their vote. That was precisely what happened. And they voted, they protected their vote, the SM uh, rigging machinery could not do anything about that. It is on record that a number of talks and courts were arrested on that day, information on reaching men. And those talks that were arrested on that day and the courts are all SM members. I challenge the state governor to ask the commissioner of police to come up with a list of people who were arrested on that day with guns and ammunition. One of them, in fact, one of the former ACN uh, Transition Committee chairmen, to a ballot box. He was also arrested. So what are they talking about? And talking about winning, they would have won. ACN have never really won in my senatorial district. It is on record that in 2007, the PDP returned the only senator in my senatorial district, the two Federal House of Representative members, and the six members of the State House of Assembly. In 2011, when Governor Shomole had sway in the government house, PDP again returned the only senator in my senatorial district, returned the two federal house of representative legislators, and returned this time five out of the six house of assembly. So, I mean, where is it basing the superiority in my senatorial district on? These are facts, you can check it out. But the big question is why cancel an election that has been judged to be the freest and most peaceful in the history of SN Northeast local government, and that was witnessed by the Commissioner of Police in Edo State? Only one man has the answer, and like June 12, we will wait for that answer. <laughs>